Well, welcome back to another episode of Asperos, and today, guys, I'm actually going to be using this big old glide bait right here, and surprisingly, I saw a bass just chilling right off these rocks, threw it right, on his, right in front of his face, and he absolutely crushed it. That's not a bad one either. It's probably like two, three pounds. I mean, two pounds. It would be three pounds if it was fat, because it's really long fish, but that's okay. His gills like ripped up. That's kind of crazy. But anyways, we're going to get the kayaks in and get to fishing, and hopefully catch a few more with this big old glide bait. Yep. Well, one last look at this guy. He looks pretty beat up. That's probably why he was chilling up here in the shallows. But we're gonna let him go. Sheesh. Well, it's looking like a pretty good start to the day. Let's get some more, get these kayaks in, let's get to fishing. Well guys, I actually have never caught a fish on this before. That was actually my first time ever throwing this bait and literally like first cast I caught a fish. So that's pretty exciting. I like the action of this bait a lot though. It's a nice like twitch action. It just kind of looks beautiful and it's really, really awesome. Wait, here's a fish. Yep, got him. Oh boy, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Oh boy, I got one. Yes sir. On the good old wake bait, does them dirty. Sheesh! Or glide bait, whatever the frick it is. I don't even know what this is. All I know is it's working. Come here, mate. Come here. Come here, mate. Uh, yup, there we go. Got, oh, don't flop, dude. There's like 7,000 hooks right there. I don't want one going in me, so you're gonna come down there. All right, let's go. Oh, calm down, bud. Sheesh. Came on the good old glide bait again. They're crushing this thing today, I guess. Let's go. Just a wee little guy, though. Not as big as the last one, but it's not a bad fish for sure. Something happened to his tail. It's like all beat up there. That's okay. Regardless, it is a nice fish. Second fish of the day already. It's probably been like 15 to 20 minutes, and I already got two, so it's starting off to be a pretty good day on the water. Danny also had one as well, but it came off because his drag slipped, but that's unfortunate. Happens to happens to the best of us. But I'm gonna let this little guy go. Awesome catch on the good old glide bait that I've never used before, but all right, well, there he goes. Just dunked him in. Just like I'm saying, like this big old bait right there, like I've never used one of these before, but it just looks dope and it's catching fish. So that's awesome. The action is great. That's why I like it the most. And I've only used it for like 20 minutes. Oh, there's fish. Oh, he's just little nibbles. Gonna let it eat it, maybe? Oh, he he had it. What the heck? That was literally the fish was probably the size of this swim bait. What the heck? And then I just kept feeling little taps, and I was gonna let him eat it so I could actually set the hook and catch him. And then he jumped like 10 feet in the air and spit it. I have your line. I did not, you, I casted first. That's Cap, I casted first. You crossed my line. Don't even cap. <laughs> yeah, Yo, you gotta stop doing that, man. <laughs> you gotta stop. I'm just trying to fish, dude. Like, did you please not hook my line? Oh, a crappie. Dude, it's crappie. Catch clean cook, mate. I promised the folks at home I'd do a catch clean cook on crappie because I got like 35 likes on that video. But I don't know how to catch crappie, so sorry, guys. Uh, one day. I'll do it. I never said when I'll do it, but one day on this channel, I'll do a copy catch lean cook. I got one, guys. Look at this. His name is Tom. All right, well, we're just going to let him go. See you later, Tom. Oops, sorry, the paddle's in the way. There goes Tom. First fish of the day, guys. On the taxi rig. I don't use anything else, but that's fine. I mean, you can't go wrong with the good old Texas rig. I tried this one, mate, for like half an hour, hour. Like usually, never catch anything. Try any bait, don't catch anything. Text rig, I catch stuff, so why would I change? You know what I'm saying? You got another one? Really? Rip, he came off. Well, the Texas rig's doing them dirty right now, I guess. Made it to the other side of the lake and the sun went behind some clouds and I can't tell you how good that feels and I just 
got a knot in my line. Anyways, because it is super hot today. So that feels great that the sun just left. Oh, did I just get hit? Oh, that was just weeds. I literally thought I got hit first cast and that would have been crazy, but I didn't. Did they lose one? Bro, I actually thought I thought I did not. Dude, I actually thought I had one out there. Like when you when you set the hook and jerked my rod, I thought I had one too. Okay, I did I did cross your line. I did cross your line. Dude, that was that was not me. No, it wasn't. No. No. No, that was not me. I'm casting. You're literally to the left of me. I'm casting straight in front of me. No, that was not me. I didn't do it. I did not do it. The heck is that? Oh, there's a fish. Yep. Sheesh! Yes, sir. He is flying. That's definitely a small mouth. Oh my gosh. What the heck, dude? He crushed it. Sheesh! He's digging. Yeah, that's a small mouth. Let's get it, mates. Oh, he's about to jump. Yep, there he is. Hey, how's it going? What are you doing there, bud? You're gonna have to just stop fighting for a little bit just so I can grab you before you get off. This is like my worst nightmare. <laughs> Trying to grab a fish with a bait that has 10 million hooks. I got him, guys. Let's go. All right, this guy crushed it out of nowhere, and he put up such a great fight for his size. Like, smallmouth just fight like 10 times harder than largies, and they're so much fun to catch. I didn't expect to catch a smallie just on this big old bait here, bait right here, because you usually catch smallmouth on like little ned rigs and little finesse type baits. But this dude had an appetite and crushed that giant swim bait right there. All right, well, one last look at this beautiful smallie, and we're gonna let this little bronzy go. See you later, big Jimmy. All right, finally got another fish. Let's get some more. Oh, that's it. What? what? It broke my line. Dude, that was probably like a freaking $12 swim bait. That's why I don't buy expensive swim bait, guys. Like I said, I got this in an all seasons fishing box. So I did not, from a giveaway too. So I didn't have to pay for this one. But I'm assuming it was a pricey bait. Second fish of the day. Nice little rock bass, new species. I haven't caught one in a while, so you know what? A fish is a fish. See you later. There he goes. That's literally my first time using that swim bait, and I already broke it off. Bro, that lure is 15 bucks. Rip, I just broke off a $15 lure. Wow, look at these birds. <laughs> That's so beautiful, dude. Like, that looks so nice. Yeah, definitely smallmouth are the like best fighting fish ever, dude. Like it's insane how hard they fight. Like this one, I mean, it's not a bad one, but it definitely is a good one. And they fight so good. Like it felt like a 10 pound bass, not gonna lie, but it's all right, definitely. Oh, oh, he wants to go. First smallmouth, honestly, maybe of the year? I don't know, I haven't caught one in a little bit. First smallmouth in a while, but time to let him go. Oh, uh, there's a bite. Yep, there it is. Got him. You start. Oh, did he just come off rip? That's so unfortunate. Something small just nipped at the tail. Probably a bluegill or a rock bass or something. Really? He's hooked up again. Yeah, it's a big one, dude. What the heck? Fourth fish of the day, not second. Definitely the biggest fish of the day, and he did put up a nice fight, but look at that. That's like a two and a half, I'd say. Something like there, something like that. But he's bleeding a little bit, so we're gonna we're gonna get back in the water. There he goes. Having a great day out here. Four, two largies, one smallmouth, and uh, rock bass. It's just, I know it's a good job that I can, oh my gosh, dude, what the heck? Jeez. What? Why did he freaking pull that hard? Oh my gosh. He didn't even like. Oh, dude. Dude, what the heck was that? I was just chilling, and then out of nowhere, my rod almost got. Oh! Splashed right in my eyeball. 
Dude, why is he fighting so hard? <laughs> I literally thought I had like a freaking pike or something on. Oh my gosh, what the? He's not even that big. He's just fighting. I know. Oh, that's a smallie. That's why. Like that's not even a big smallmouth. Like. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but like, it's not like. All right, guys, this smallmouth, I literally was just big chilling with Danny and I were having a nice conversation, and out of nowhere, my rod just goes, pew, and just gone. I was like, oh my gosh, do I have like a freaking muskie on or something, even though they're not in this lake? But it's still just, it was the biggest bite I've ever felt in a long time, and just produced this nice, great looking smallie. It's not even that big, but he sure put up a heck of a fight. And I just, I love catching these little smallies. Anyways, thanks for biting, bud. Oh, he just left with as much energy as he bit. So. <laughs> nope. Yep, that's not a freaking rock bass. Come here. Yes, sir. There we go. Got another one. It's a little small one, though. Maybe it is a rock bass. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Well, I got a rock bass. This was the guy that was just teasing me for the last, like, three minutes. Oh. Chill, oh, oh, chill, oh my gosh, what are you doing? I'm gonna let you calm down. All right, there you go, now you calm down. Thanks for that. Well, guys, it's a little rock bass. Look at how cute he is. See you later, bud. Oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah, oh, that was just a little rock one. Oh, he's got it again. He's taking it to the left. He's moving my line. Yep, there it is, got him. Yep. That's not a rock one. That's the largey. Sheesh. What the heck? That's actually not a bad one. I thought it was a rock bass. You just biting it very subtly. Oh, jeez, that's a big one. That's a tank, dude. No way. Sheesh. Oh, my gosh. Come here, mate. That's a big one, dude. That's a big bass. I, I got to get away on this guy. That's definitely like a three three and a half pounder right there what in the world yeah fish. you can all eat them no cap here you go give him a meal that's a beautiful looking fish though let's go three four <laughs> get down well guys what a great way to end this day because the sun is basically completely set right now this is a three pounder right there amazing catch if he was more fat easily almost four pounds like that's a long fish just a beautiful looking fish you love to see it guys Ooh, my biggest fish actually in quite a while so it feels great to finally catch a toad like this one all right bud i really appreciate the bite and see you later let's go like i said i literally thought it was a rock bass and then i set the hook and i saw it and i was like that is not a rock bass oh my gosh that's a no we came off dude that was a tank that was another five pounder I mean three pounder I mean probably just I don't know I just lost a fish and I'm upset <laughs> it's like literally nighttime right now yeah, but they just got like, one all right got this nice little guy last fish of the day as you guys can tell it's pretty dark outside it's about nine o'clock we gotta go but I mean these trees are just they've always been good to me so I had to just cast it I get this nice little smallie so hey we'll take it no matter the size there he goes great way to end the trip all right guys i think i'm gonna go cry now since i just lost the 15 dollars swim bait in this video but anyways if you guys want to help me out just be sure to leave a fat thumbs up and as always stay tuned until next time on bass bros